Hello, we're on the steps of the courthouse and we visited the 9-11 rally. Now, very peaceful rally, very patriotic rally. We're going to show you some clips and we'll uh, be right back for that. Please note that there will be a band performing here. So the Stars and Bars flag is part of the band and not part of the rally for Trump or the Trump sign. On the wrong side, the full side where I play. We're really hot and we're fast and die. You're on the wrong side, the wrong on the wrong with the same face. The double girls I got. Oh, boy, it's time to lock me I am Lynette Mountain. I am the president of Bikers for Trump, Pennsylvania Boots on the Ground. Um, president from Ohio chapter, Brad Boss, who is with me. And um, we want to thank everybody that put all the work and the effort into this. We want to thank our men in blue for coming out to support us and protect us. We want to thank the city officials that allowed this to happen at this beautiful courthouse today. So, with that being said, we are going to have Dave McQuaid come up and give the prayer. And then we have Joe, who is a Purple Heart veteran, who is going to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. You know, of course, don't you, that there's a danger whenever you let a pastor buy a mic. You all know that, right? Okay, good. Somebody sent me this. It said, watching Hurricane Harvey's destruction and rescues unstructed cages have flooded in with boats to help Texas. White men are loading black men and women into their boats. Black men are jumping out of their secure boats to help Spanish families gather personal belongings before they float away. Asian women are crying and hugging white women. This is the real America. These are the everyday people. The hate groups and media running from town to town creating a false sense of oppression and hate does not represent this country. They are not trying to better it. People loading the boat and spending their own money to travel hundreds of miles and risk their lives pulling people from homes that they themselves can never afford. That is a true picture of who we are. Why is it that we this is kind of support? among strangers over and over in disaster situations and still allow a small group of hate mongers to keep a divide alive that does not really exist among the majority. I wanted to read that to you because I, I hardly agree with that and I think most of you do as well. That was that Facebook post. See, I've seen the faces of people in need and I've been on the receiving side of need and mercy more than a few times and I bet you a lot of you too have. Why is it the disaster or an attack on our country that happened on 9-11 or a hurricane or a fire or famine unites us when we seem divided at other times? You know, don't you, that in true reality there are no political solutions. There are only solutions of the heart. Politics serves its place. I'm the National Administrator for Bikers for America. We are American exceptionalism. <laughs> we are American exceptionalism. We are deplorable bikers. We are bikers who support the American way of life, standing by God, our Constitution, and Bill of Rights, our flag, our military, and our veterans. I am a grandmother. I'm a military mom of three soldiers. I am the daughter of a World War II veteran who served in the United States Navy in Okinawa in World War II. I 
I am a citizen of Lawrence County, the state of Pennsylvania, but more importantly, I am an American. As a representative of Bikers for America, we would like to take a moment now to thank Bikers for Trump Boots on the Ground Pennsylvania for inviting our organization to co-sponsor the event today. I stand here today to share a message of hope, a message of hope that is spreading across our great nation. That message is a call to action. The message requires all of us. It is to unite America. As we look around us, we see a nation that is divided, a nation far less than what it was founded to be. My hope for our great nation is that all men and women across every political and racial spectrum unite. Uniting doesn't mean we agree on everything. Uniting means we do agree. We are Americans. Folks, that's where we begin. The hate we see today is driven by those who seek to divide us, to weaken our resolve. However, it has also united us. Look around you here today. Look around you now. We are a diverse group. There is only one race that truly matters, and that is the human race comprised of all of us. When you came here today, you and I can say foremost, we came here as Americans. We love this city, we love this state, and we love this country. We are standing here today united as Americans to stand up against those who would seek to divide us and to send them a strong message. Newcastle, this is our city, this is our state, and this is our country, and you are not welcome here. We will not allow you to spread your hate anymore. Right. If we unite, we can and we will make America great again. Will you stand with me in unity this day and the days to come as a United States of America? Reach out your hand to whoever is standing beside you and raise your hands high in unity for the United States of America. USA, 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 USA. Next, I have a statement that I'd like to read by one of our state representatives that was not able to be here today. State Representative Aaron Bernstein was not able to be in attendance today due to a prior conflict. We would all like to thank Aaron for the work that he did to stop the purchase of the YDC to Hira. He worked tirelessly and stood up to those who tried to fast track this illegal sale. State Representative Aaron Bernstein has supplied us with a statement for all of you here today. I will now read his statement. Sixteen years ago, the greatest country that the world has ever known was attacked by radical Islamic terrorists. Some believe that these 19 cowards used box cutters in an attempt to hijack airplanes, but their true intention was to hijack our American values and way of living. Osama bin Laden and his followers could not have been more wrong about the spirit of this country. In fact, they only solidified the strength and resolve that we have to combat evil in this world at a day and time of our choosing. We will never surrender, we will never be intimidated, and we will always prevail against those that intend on harming Americans.
Thank you. Kath Brown, so screw you guys with big trucks. <laughs> All right. And uh, so before, before we get off for a moment, um, there's a song we're going to do. It's called Call It Quits. And uh, being, a, being a guy who grew up in Homewood, <clears throat> rocking Confederate flags, a lot of people told me to quit doing what I was doing. And this song kind of goes out to that. It's called Call It Quits. And I hope you all enjoy it. One second. Now, that was the rally, as you can see, peaceful, very patriotic, people remembering 9-11, and uh, can I say, very good for Newcastle, in my humble opinion. Now, reporting from the steps of the courthouse, I'm Angelo Parada for NCTV 45.